Welcome everyone. Here is Dr. Sandhu from Business Management and Research Channel. Our today's topic is quantitative techniques of decision making. Agenda: We will discuss linear programming. Number two: Probability decision theory, game theory, queuing theory, simulation, and network techniques. Quantitative techniques of decision making. A typical manager must routinely make decisions. These decisions depend on his work, authority, and powers. Decisions are judgments about how to achieve specific goals. Every task is built on decisions. For each task, a manager must choose from several options because every decision has consequences. Choosing the right one is crucial. Managers have several decision-making methods. Quantitative methods help managers make efficient decisions. Good decisions are made using these techniques. First one is linear programming. Point one. In principle, this method aids in maximizing a goal while using few resources. The goal may be the minimization of a disutility or the optimization of a utility. To put it another way, it assists in making the most of a resource or constraints point number 2 managers use this technique only under conditions involving certainty point number 3 as a result it might not be very helpful when the situation is uncertain or unpredictable number 2 probability decision theory point number 1 the foundation of this method is the idea that we can only forecast an outcome's probability to put it another way we can never be entirely certain of how any course of action will turn out point number 2 utilizing the information at hand managers first calculate the likelihood of a result even their personal judgment can be used for this in order to make their decisions they then use this probability data in order to accomplish this they frequently use decision trees or payoff matrix number 3 game theory When making decisions about their competitors in the marketplace, managers occasionally use specific quantitative techniques. One such technique is the game theory approach. Point number 1. Through the use of a game, this technique essentially stimulates business rivalries or conflicts. Under this method, managers seek to gain an advantage over their competitors they can play games with two three or more players to accomplish this number 4 queuing theory every business frequently experiences periods of waiting in lines for personnel equipment resources or services For instance, a manufacturing company might occasionally accumulate a stock of unsold goods as a result of erratic demand. In a sense, this theory seeks to address these issues. Point number 1. This theory aims to cut down on such waiting times as well as investment in such costs. Point number 2. For instance, department stores frequently need to strike a balance between buying fresh goods and clearing out unsold inventory. 
in these situations managers can reduce costs by applying the queuing theory number 5 simulation the simulation technique as the name implies observes various outcomes in hypothetical or artificial settings managers attempt to comprehend how their decisions will play out in various scenarios point number 3 as a result this settle on decision that is most likely to benefit them point number 4 understanding that outcomes point number 4 understanding outcomes under such simulated environments instead of natural settings reduces risks drastically network techniques point number 1 time effort and resources can easily be wasted if employees are not fully committed to completing complex tasks Point number 2 the purpose of this method is to build robust organizational networks to address this issue underneath this strategy there are two main quantitative methods the critical path method and the program evaluation and review techniques are two examples work is effectively divided up across networks using these methods in addition they save a tons of money and time thank you very much for watching you can watch my other video lectures on different topics keep watching best of luck